Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Trailmakers, and we are lost once again in the high seas, but today we're going to be looking at some amazing sailboats that I found on the workshop today. Now, this, you may remember, it was my best attempt at making a sail-powered boat, and um, it has also engine power as well, so it's not purely sail power if I don't want it to be, because sails... I couldn't get them to work that well. The wind is actually so powerful that it's tipping my sailboat over. So let's see what other people have designed for sailboats and see if we can get any inspiration about how we're supposed to actually be using these sails. So let's start off with this one. This one is uh, called a powered sailboat by Potato Cub. It's not a purely sail powered boat. As you can see down here, we got some underwater propellers, but this is an interesting keel design and I'm curious to see how it works when it comes to keeping the boat uh, stable and level. And oh boy, this is, we're not off to a good start. I don't know if I start it. Oh, wait a minute. We're actually kind of going though. Oh, oh, hold on. <laughs> hold on. What can I, what can I control here? Let me press buttons and start seeing what happens. Okay. So we have a, a rear rudder that we can use for steering. All right. Let me press W to actually go forward. Let me turn into the wind or not into the wind, but in the direction of the wind. Oh, and look at the, um, the rudder controller on the back as the rudder turns. Oh, that's interesting. So this isn't like normal steering. This actually stays in the position. So you have to unsteer. Most of the times when you have steering controls, you press it and then when you release it, it goes back to zero. This one is not the case. All right, but this thing's definitely fast if I use the, um, the engines and it does tip over a lot <laughs> with the wind though. Um, so this one has the advantage of having the actual power underneath it though So you can just go in whatever direction you're facing But I'm curious how other sailboats that do not use propeller power are going to function All right, so this one is called sailing boat with automatic sail adjustment mark 2 by phaser I'm curious what automatic sail adjustment means here. Okay, so I'm not controlling anything right now There's some interesting. Whoa, okay. We got wait a minute Wait a minute, is that a new sensor? Hold, whoa, 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 hold on a second. Did I not know that we have a new sensor? <gasps> we have a compass? Why did I not know this? A compass that can be connected to other blocks always pointing north. I had no idea. That's crazy. So we can now have a directional sensor that gives an output depending on what cardinal direction you're facing. So then how is that being used here? This is hooked into... Well, that's interesting because the wind isn't always flowing in the same direction from north. It's flowing in all directions depending on where you are on the map. So I'm curious what use that is for this. Let's see what happens. So we have A and D like this. Oh, oh man, that wave is taking us. There's no WS controls. Now, what about up, down, left, right on the keyboard? Okay, up and down is for the sails going up and down. And left and right. All right, right now, the sails aren't helping us that much. Oh, this is interesting. Left and right actually uh, controls that thing on the top. I can spin it by going left and right, but I don't know why. I don't know why I want to do that. It keeps spinning on its own, too. Okay, hold on. Let's go back over here. All right, here we go. Now, let's just see what happens. I'm just going to let it do its thing. So, that's the top thing. It keeps spinning without me wanting to spin it. Yeah, see, I'm not spinning it right there. But somehow, I also do have the power to spin it if I wanted to. So, I, I don't understand yet how these automatically adjusting sails work. I know that there's definitely something to do with those cardinal directions. And if I manually rotate the thing on the top, okay, now it's, I've lost control of it. It's not responding to me anymore. So that is somehow adjusting these sails, but I can't find any logic behind what it's doing. Because <laughs> right now, this is the effect. <laughs> Man, it just, it honestly does seem like using sails for power is an extremely difficult thing to do in trail makers but we are not anywhere close to done with seeing the different types of creations people have come up with yet all right so sorry if i didn't understand how this thing was supposed to work i tried i pushed all the buttons i couldn't make things happen the way they should happen okay up next we got sailboat one by il benvenuto and this one does this one wait oh this one has paddles Oh, that's interesting. I don't see any actual propellers and we have a cannon on this thing. All right, I'm really curious about this one then. Let's see what happens. Oh boy, all right. Maybe I'm just in an area where the wind is too strong for some of these sailboat designs, but look at the paddles. I didn't even think about like paddle boats yet. All right, I am not giving those sail or those uh, paddles any power right now. That was just me moving across the water. 
that's doing it automatically. I'm using pure sail power right now. Wow, this is actually, this is some decent speed right here on this one. Oh! <laughs> I blew myself up. I was trying to put the sails back down. Oh, okay. When you press shift, you then turn into cannon mode. So the button that would put the sails down actually fires the cannon. Oh, I survived that that time. That's actually kind of fun. So I want to see how powerful these paddles actually are. Whoa! That's way more impressive than I thought it was going to be. I didn't think these were going to have that much power. That's pretty cool. All right, now let's put the sails back. That was on cannon mode. Okay, so moving on by Colin Drennan, we have Modern Sailboat. And this one actually has roll control, apparently, to help with the tipping. Let's go over to this area, the nice calm area that only has like 30 kilometer an hour winds. And let's see. Oh, this thing actually has propellers too, so I can power with propellers. Oh, that's the roll. It does only work a little bit, it looks like. But can I turn the sail? Oh, that's the horn. I don't think this thing has turnable sails. No, there's no controls on these sails. So I'm just supposed to, I'm just supposed to go like this. And it's a nice looking sailboat. It seems like the sails are hurting more than helping. But I am determined to find a creation where the sails actually work more realistically. All right, Boat for Sailing by Dragon. This one, oh, this looks luxury. I love the cockpit there. That looks really nice. Oh, and we got the portholes on the side and everything too. This is a really nice looking boat. All right, so this does have uh, motors as well if we want to use motors, which is fine. But we are not going to use the motors right now. We're going to stay still and uh, figure it out with sails. Okay, this one's actually kind of working. Look at that keel, too. That's an interesting keel. Got some weights on the bottom and paddles in there. Oh, and look at this rudder. That is a fancy looking rudder. I like that rudder. We're going 25 kilometers an hour now. But uh, it constantly, since there's more sail on the right side of my craft, it is constantly turning me to the left if I don't do anything. So what if I turn entirely this way? Oh, no, it's doing the thing again. It's doing the thing again. Oh my goodness. Did you see that adjustment? That was just the wind doing all of that. And now it's turning me to the right. So yeah, man, these sails, the, these sails and trail makers, they seem a lot simpler physics wise than like a real life sail is. Okay, so this is a big sailboat by Nathan. Apparently this is 700 complexity. That is the maximum complexity. All right, here it is. Whoa, this is actually crazy looking. Look at that kill. We can open or uh, turn the sails with the wind. I died. All right, well, let's try this again. Let's zoom out, see if we can see what just happened here. We'll turn with the wind. Wow, this thing actually feels fast. I'm impressed at how fast this is. I mean, it's still only 34 kilometers an hour, but like just the visual of skimming across the water like this is pretty good. This thing turns really nice. So now what if I'm going sideways to the wind and then I turn the wind? Oh, it's resisting. It's trying to resist. Whoa, okay, look at that. This is actually, this is the first time I've really seen it work well, where I'm going into the wind. You can see the wind is coming kind of at like a 45 degree angle from my right side at the nose. And I can go like almost 20 kilometers an hour. Oh, wait, we just got so much less speed all of a sudden. Oh, it's because of the waves. The waves are affecting us now. But yeah, this is actually able to redirect the force forwards, which is really impressive. So far, this is my most successful experience with um, a boat. And what? Whoa! I did not know that the whales actually breached the surface. I was like, what is that over there? I don't remember having a creation falling apart over there. Those whales are actually peeking up out of the surface. That's pretty cool. All right, so far, I've been the most successful with that one. All right, so I decided to give this auto adjusting one another chance because uh, maybe I was just in too rough of seas and it was messing it up. And so far, um, you can see as I turn, when I turn my actual boat, it actually is keeping the sails in the direction of the wind. Oh, no, now they're getting off. Okay, wait, I don't know what's happening. I don't understand it still. Nope, yeah, I still don't understand it. Okay, now we have Super Boat with Sail by Ad Pepito. And this one has crazy amounts. Of... Wait, does that have thrusters on the back too? Oh my god, this has all kinds of power. You can power this however you want. And it is just going. It is off to the races right now. <laughs> What does space do? All right, space is the thrust. E is, oh my goodness, this thing is just set up for cargo too. And then if I give it the actual gas, holy cow, this thing can go. All right, but we have no control over the actual sails itself. So although it looks cool, it's really, oh, oh there's the whales again. It's really only going to be useful um, in the direction of the wind. If we try to go against the wind, 
we can't really turn our sails at all. Like, look at this. I'm actually, I'm trying to go right now and it won't let me go. All right, well, all right, I think I think it's over for us. I'm sorry. Sorry, sailboat. All right, we got another one here. This is Bliss Super Sail Yacht by Tiny. Apparently, it is perfectly working in the high seas. That is a, a high claim for the high seas. Okay, here it is. And it's a really, it looks like a luxury sailboat right here. But man, look at all those fins underneath. Oh, interesting. This has some auto stabilization to prevent it from tipping. So this stays really level on the water. All right, as I'm turning into the wind, this one is actually doing it. I'm impressed with this one. I was not expecting it to work that well. This is good. So we could actually probably tack into the wind. Oh, it doesn't hold the momentum that, oh, the sails are stuck now. Oh no. <laughs> no. This has potential because you can see that these are supposed to be able to go with each other like that. But when I'm trying to actually tack into the wind, they get stuck on each other because they're just too close. All right, turning directly into the wind. No, don't get stuck on each other, please. It gets stuck every single time I'm about to go into the wind. All I'm doing is moving this one block forward. And hopefully that's going to allow me to do a successful tack here. All right, here we go. We're turning into the wind. And then, come on, maintain the forward momentum. Oh, man, we're going backwards now. It wasn't able to keep it translating forward. That's really weird because this in the other direction was making it go full. Oh my goodness, we just got taken out by a whale. <laughs> what are the chances of that? All right, one more try because we're able to see here that I am going forward into the wind. It was just kind of 45 degrees into my nose. So then if I turn in this direction, theoretically, if I just keep the sails at the similar angle to the wind, it should keep the forward momentum because now it's just the reverse. But it's making me go backwards now. I don't know if that's me doing it wrong or if the physics are just off, but I can't seem to get it to uh, stay into the wind as I tack. All right, we got a couple more left here. This is by Cobb Lubber and this is Cobb's Red Ship, a little sailboat made with love. Okay, maybe it was the love was the ingredient that was missing with the other ones. All right, here we go. Okay. Oh, those are interestingly shaped sails. Huh. Oh, but okay. No, 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 no. Okay, it's doing the thing again. It's doing the thing again. Oh, we have a sail rudder on this one as well. Oh my goodness, we have cannons too. Oh, that's awesome. Where's our... Oh, there's the wind. I caught the wind. Hold on. Hold on. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. All right, I'm trying to catch the wind going uh, into the wind again. I can always do it in this direction. There we go. Look, we're going forward a decent amount with the wind here. But this one is actually, I'm having a lot of trouble tacking on this one. Okay, yeah, I couldn't tack successfully with this one, but um, it did let me go into the wind in that direction. But what if I turn in this direction and try to do a similar thing? Oh, there we go. There we go. All right, we're actually moving. Okay, so this is the first time I was able to successfully move with the wind coming into my left side. So it definitely is possible to sail into the wind in Trail Makers, but you really need to be particular with your sail angles if you want to be successful with that. All right, that's a pretty good one. Okay, moving on, we got High Seas Sloop by Darkling, faster than the wind, apparently. Whoa, look at this. This thing looks really high tech, doesn't it? See, now, I, this is a little over my head. I don't know what to do with separate controls over the front and middle sails. Like I really, I, I'm sure there's some fancy configuration you can use and you can get like ideal uh, wind power, but I don't exactly know how to do that. So I'm just gonna turn them perpendicular to the wind. Oh my good, holy cow, wait, what is going on? Oh, boy. okay, I can't even, I, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, all right, there we go. Oh, wow, okay, wow. Wow, how is this working? We are going 56 kilometers an hour uh, with 51 kilometer an hour winds. This is really impressive. I don't understand how. All right, now I'm gonna move the, how do I move the front sail? Wow, now we're going 60. This is kind of crazy. All right, what if I move this in the other direction like this? All right, kind of similar results. All right, so now what if I wanna go into the wind, kind of like I was doing before? All right, I can go like 20 kilometers an hour in this direction with the wind at my nose. But, oh man, when we go into the wind like this, it does have some stabilization in here as well. But man, we can go fast. I'm really curious why that's able to pick up more speed than the wind. Um, what? Did you guys just see that? <laughs> I managed to fly a little bit. 
I don't know how that was possible, but I guess I arranged my sails in just a way that I picked up the wind, but I can't do it anymore. That was kind of crazy. The person who built this can probably go even faster than I was able to make it go. But uh, I got one more left, and this one I'm really interested in because it claims to be a Whistler class hybrid hydrofoil yacht by Strelizia XX. So is this thing going to actually hydrofoil? I cannot wait to find out. Let's see what happens here. Whoa, look at the design of this. This is awesome. Look at that. Um, hopefully I don't have to use the motors. It would be awesome if it could hydrofoil on wind power only. All right, well, let's see what happens. Here we go. All right, so far, not hydrofoiling that much. Wait, what is number, does number one, oh, okay, number one activates the uh, the rudders. Yeah, so we gotta activate number one, it looks like, but I don't think we're getting enough speed to hydrofoil. Let me use my, uh, my motors. It's trying, it's trying to hydrofoil, but it definitely doesn't do it with wind power alone. Yeah, we only go about 25 kilometers an hour directly with the wind. It's still a really cool looking uh, sailboat though. And yeah, I can see what it means by hybrid hydrofoil because usually like if you're gonna really hydrofoil, you don't want any part of like the body of the boat dragging into the water. You wanna just keep all of that above the water to get the most out of your speed. But this one seems to dip the back into the water to bring the front out of the water, which would still technically, it should make you go faster because the whole front is not dragging in the water. But yeah, it seems like it's not able to get that amount of speed um using wind power alone unfortunately man that would have been so cool if it was a wind power hydrofoil if somebody can oh man if somebody can make a wind powered only hydrofoil it might actually exist it's hard to find stuff on the workshop sometimes yeah this one is also capable of uh going into the wind uh, i still have yet to successfully tack into the wind and that could just be user error maybe i'm not doing it right but that transitionary period where you're facing the wind it just seems to it seems to get me a lot oh man but even using the uh, the motors on this thing it actually makes it look so much cooler because this is yeah this is this is what i'm used to seeing for sailing it's like it's leaning a little bit oh there we go let's get it to lean again yeah we, there we go leaning a little bit but just zooming across the surface of the water that's the aesthetic of sailing right there in my mind all right well we've looked at a ton of sailboats in this episode and uh i think it just shows that sailing is hard like, it's, it's extremely difficult to build an easy-to-use sailboat in the high seas that is also, like, an efficient and effective mode of transportation without having to rely on engine power like, like even this one does. So which one of the sailboats that you saw in this episode was your favorite, and what else do you think I should look for in the workshop considering all the new stuff that uh, you can do in Trailmakers now? What do you guys want to see more of that the, that the community has been up to? Well, if you guys enjoyed this episode, you'll probably enjoy some more stuff that you can find on the end screen right here. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.